In this video, easy to set the game on stream from chat. But if you don't type it in correctly, you'll get notified. And you'll also get confirmation that's been correctly set. You can also set your title through this way. Again, getting the confirmation. Hello, and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome streamer bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. To add in the functionality to streamer bot, go to the description below and copy the import code. Then in the actions tab, right click, import, Put in a string and import. Then we need to set up commands. Firstly, set game. Exclamation mark set game. Suggest moderator or just the streamer for this one. Select the action. And then set title. Exclamation mark set title. Again, moderators or just the streamer's permission is recommended here. And a set title. And there we go, we've implemented this into StreamerBot. And so now to test. I'm going to use the set game first and change it to synth riders. So if you're doing it through this, it doesn't always show up in the interface. That's why it's super important to have the notifications to bounce back to confirm that this is done. If I refresh this stream information using Control and R, you can see it's picked up synth riders and the categories associated with it. Now if we try and set the game with a incorrect or a category which can't be matched, for example just science, it's going to turn around, it's going to notify us that it can't do that. So we try to match it and it doesn't. So we need to use the full Science and technology, for example. Again, this is going to set it correctly when it's done. There we go. Refresh. We've got science and technology here. Again, with the, the associated tags. Finally, we can use set title. So I just type to paste one in here. And we can see when we run that, Again, it's going to confirm it in chat. It's not going to show it in streaming information unless you do a refresh control on the R and we can see there it's applied. And finally, the optional walkthrough on the actions themselves. Set title is quite simply channel title on the raw input and a message to confirm title has been updated to whatever's in the input. The set game has a few other checks though, however. It gets the target information from the broadcast user. That means it knows what the current game is. And we back that up in something called old game. This is a way so we can actually check to see if the game has been changed. We then attempt to change the game from the raw input. Pull in the information again after that for the user. And if the game is the same as the old one, it does a failure message, we'll look at that in a second. Otherwise, you can then notify chat what the game's been updated to. Set game fail is simply saying we can't, we tried to change it to raw input but it didn't match anything. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.